Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky Reyes back with another tutorial and in this video I'll be talking about something called a custom corpus and how you can set it up quite fast. So what is a corpus? Uh, we have been using corpus for a long time and I did not specify it anytime because it is not, you know, it's, it's not a, it's a no-brainer basically. A corpus is nothing but a directory, that's it. There's nothing more to that, it's just a directory, that's it. It's just a folder. So why do we call it a corpus because it contains a lot of text files it contains a lot of things like you know um, it, it has a lot of training data it has lexic uh, you know if you can have lexicons as well in a corpus so it, it is in general a collection of text documents and stuff like that so why do we need a custom corpus uh, so uh, i just explained why what it is and why do we need that is because you know when you download analytic underscore data you get a lot of data and you can i mean a lot of things get downloaded into that but let us say you want to create something specific you know you want to create a project with a certain specified language what you can do is you can just go ahead and uh, create a new corpus which will be uh you know used for this uh, uh new project and it won't hinder any I mean, it won't come in the way of any other projects that you might have. So, it's it's it's, um, it's quite simple. And uh, one more thing is that uh, the name of the the naming conventions are already there. So you have to name your folders in a certain way and stuff like that. So anyway, so let's get started. So let's create a simple folder. Uh, again, the folder's name will again be NLTK underscore data so it follows a bit of uh, rules naming conventions what you need to do is you just uh, say import os and you can uh, go ahead uh, you can also import os.path to be more specific and after this you know you can call your path anything so let's say my path is equal to os.path.expand user so you have to expand your user and what this will allow is that it will allow you to create something like this i mean when you have a tilde uh, tilde symbol what it means is that your you know your root uh, doc uh, root uh, directory it's like you know if if at all you're on windows it will be like c drive slash uh, users slash your username and your your you know your main documents and if at all you're on linux uh, it'll be on, uh, you know, you, uh, your, uh, it'll, it'll be basically in your main root folder. So this delay is uh, quite important. So make sure that you have that. And then you can just say NLTK underscore data. All right. So the whole thing should be in quotes. So I'm sorry about that. So yeah. Uh, so this is quite simple. And after that, what happens is that you have to create this i mean if at all it doesn't exist you have to create this my path so th the first time it won't uh, exist because you have not created it yet and if at all you want to just directly create uh, uh without you know going through the code you can do that as well but uh, on windows it is quite easier but this one is also quite useful so that that's the reason i'm just covering all this so anyway so uh, what you will say is that if not uh os dot path dot exists uh you give my path and uh, you say that if at all this does not exist what this means is that then what you say is just create oh oops just uh, make a directory so you have a make a directory function given by os and uh, you just say you know my path or uh, you, you can just give any a anything here but since you have already defined my path over here you can just say you know my path all right and after that you can just say you can just print it out saying the uh, folder has been created and uh, if it all this does not exist uh what you can do is you can i mean if it if it already exists i'm sorry about that what you can do is you, you can say that folder already exists so stuff like that and let's see what happens all right you see that folder already exists because i have already created it long ago anyways uh so that's how you just quickly create it and what you can do is you can just uh import uh nltk.data and check out whether this path is uh what do you call it, it is legit i mean legitimate or not whether it is there in the list of known paths for nltk 
So what you do is you just say import NLTK.data. Oops. Oh my god. Alright, you say import NLDK.data and you can say any anything like uh, vari variable bool or something anything like that which, which will tell you if this exists in NLDK.data so uh, data data path. So what you what you do is you say my path in uh, NLDK.data dot path. So that's what you say and you can print out variable bool and let's see what happens. All right, it's, it says true, which means that this is officially recognized by NLDK and you're good to go. You don't have anything to worry about. So if at all you get false, that means that this has not been created or uh, perhaps your my, your path has a wrong convention, which is not yet recognized. So you might have to check that and make sure that, you know, you have corrected it so that, you know, uh, you can go ahead and start using it. So anyways, uh, setting up corpus is very simple as you have seen, but it is quite important. So make sure that you have it. And one more thing before I close this video, what I would like to show you guys is that, uh, you know, inside my uh, NLTK underscore data, which is the new folder. So I already have uh, NLTK underscore data in my C drive on Windows, but this is not that which we have created as I was explaining in the uh, uh initial minutes of this video this will actually get created in your home directory or stuff where you know it, it it's actually personal to you like in your uh c drive slash user slash whatever so if at all you're on Li uh, linux it'll be a root folder so uh so what i was saying is that uh you know uh you can just uh yeah this thing gets created over there and what you can do is you can uh, just like in our own uh, NLTK underscore data, if you go ahead and scan your already downloaded NLTK underscore data, which you do uh, as I showed you in the first few videos, uh, you get a lot of uh, subfolders like corpora, you have tokenizers and stuff like that. So, uh, so you you can you can create the same type of uh, sub directories in that. So you can manually do that or you can use the same same kind of code and do that. It's, it's, it's not a big deal. So after you do that, you can fill your, uh, you know, you, uh, you can fill your folder with uh, certain text files, just like our own uh, NLTK underscore data has. So uh, I have put up some some random uh, text files. So it's called good.txt and it resides inside corpora slash writings. And corpora exists inside NLTK underscore data. So what I'm saying is that since we have already imported NLTK underscore data, uh, under, uh, NLTK dot data, let's say uh, mm, new file is equal to uh, NLTK underscore NLTK dot data dot load. So we will be loading uh, using our uh, Okay, we don't have to use the relative links, but it, 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 I mean this these this is a relative link, so it will take care because it will search in all kinds of folders. So I have a subfolder called corpora. So I'm not giving an absolute uh, URL, and after that, corpora slash writings slash good dot text. So this is the one. So it's it's coming out fine. So I'll just print out what new file says. All right bingo so it's actually run it's actually saying what is this so pretty much uh cool so it's, it's actually working so you can also give something called a format so you can say format is equal to raw and here you see a b comes up and, and stuff like this happens so anyways uh regarding all this i'll be talking about and different videos so don't worry if you have not got any any uh, in-depth understanding there's nothing much as well and uh yeah that's about it so i'll explain a lot of things but make sure that you have set it up so that you know we can go ahead and work on a lot of things right now all right guys so that's uh that's it for this video so i'll be talking about more things in the coming up videos uh thanks a lot for watching this is rocky days uh um yeah that's it